What's up, Jeff? <laughs> Tell me the music. Oh, what's with the porn music? Says Donny. That means it's working. Finally. Finally. It's working. Chat. It's been so quiet on these YouTube streams. But we finally. We finally get some resolution. Tell me how it sounds. Tell me how it sounds. Let me get these uh, sound levels. Ooh, the music seems really loud. My. <laughs> Is this better? Is this better? Nariko loves the music. Oh, shit. What's up, Shabs in the chat? After taking the poop, your face is red. It was a violent, violent occasion. But we made it. I speed running that shit hard. Literally. Literally. Welcome, everybody, in the chat. We have some things to talk about today. I think I need to make a staple of 30 FPS. Xbox exclusive, 30 FPS. Make it standard. Indiana Jones, might as well get it ready. Get the thumbnail ready. 30 FPS. <laughs> oh, Xbox. Oh, Xbox. So what's happened, chat? What's up, everybody? Nick Master says should stream at 30 Yeah, let me, let me do it, Nick. Oh, oh shit. Here we go. Nick Marseille. This, this stream is dedicated to Nick Marseille. 30 FPS. <laughs> Take that, Xbox. I <laughs> can't wait to play Hellblade eventually when it comes to the PlayStation 5 Pro because I have nothing to be excited about because my name is Nick Marseille. Hey, guess what? Hey, you know what, Nick Marseille? Since you just turned up here, bruh. Since you turned up here, bruh. I, I, I have a bone to pick with Nick Marseille. He's getting way... You are getting way too bold. And you know what? I was at late 2, 3 in the morning. My sleep cycle is messed because of Ramadan. And I see the absolute utter bullshit you type. And I'm like, it's a holy month. It's a holy month. Don't be, don't be bad. But I'm bad. I'm a bad person because I look at your shit and it makes me prolapse. This guy talks so much bollocks, bro. Nick Marseille is so desperate to prove PlayStation's chops. So desperate to prove PlayStation is doing so well. I mean, how can you be a fan of a platform that's number one in the gaming space? And, and, and there's, a, there's a point to be made about people who galvanize behind a brand that's number one because easy life things, yeah? We like a challenge here at Xbox fans, but Nicky Marseille. Let me, let me show you. Little, little Nick Marseille. Here he is. So desperate. So desperate for some freaking variety, yeah? Look, 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 look. Sony always makes... Uh, sad dad simulators. I can't wait to see Gravity Rush 2 remastered. Bland, remastered, Bland. And the new Astrobot game that hasn't even been confirmed. Bland. The rumor mill is now confirmation of games to Nick Marseille. The irony was palpable to me. This man evangelizing a game that nobody bought to such a degree that it caused the studio to shut down. And this guy is capping for what? A remaster, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I love this creepy ass give a Biden says it all. Nick Marseille, shut your ass. And you know, little Nick Marseille, he is so excited. He's so excited for Xbox. It's Xbox everywhere. See of Thieves, he loves it. Oh, shit. See of Thieves, he wants it. Here's a picture of him somewhere. Like, just lapped up. He's pre ordering Sea of Thieves. How much tweet? How much do you tweet, Nick? You tweet way too much. Or if I just scroll too far back, I don't know where you are. But little Nicky, little Nicky right here. He is in love. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, bro. Look at this guy. I've never seen him this excited for any game, but an Xbox game. This guy loves Xbox. He secretly loves it. Ladies and gentlemen, speaking of Xbox games, we got... The games that they're just... This is the ultimate PlayStation game. A single-player sad dad pony game, right? How dare you? How dare you get hyped for this single-player game that is linear and has good graphics? Where? Where? 
You spineless shits. I'm going to put everyone in their place. But before we do, before we do, let's not take away from the the spectacle, which is Hellblade 2. Because whilst ponies are crying about the FPS, and so am I, uh, the, the reality is this. Hellblade 2 is looking phenomenal. Let me show you, chat. Woo! Here we go. We got coverage from IGN. And before IGN come in, uh, you know, sharing our links, even though they steal everything, here it is in the chat. Shout out to uh shout out to IGN for this coverage. And here we go. Look, 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 look. Let's let, let's let me turn on the music. Actually, you know what? Let me mute it. Don't listen to some IGN stuff I'm talking about it. But this cane, look at it, it looks so beautiful, bruv. Look at the details of the face, bruv. That's crazy. She has more hair and her eyebrows than Nick Marseille has on his head. And this game looks amazing. Is this running out? Oh, no, it's not even. Come on, Vlad. I got one gig internet. Just freaking get me to 4K. Bruv. King Thrash. Are you on crack, bruv? Who says this game doesn't... It looks okay. This looks okay. Are you mad? This is perhaps the best looking... Look at that detail, bruv. Look at the atmosphere. Look at the clouds. Look at the water on the sun. And just look at the, even the wood. The wood has more detail than Nick Marseille's life. Look at this. Look at the stream on the right. Look at <laughs> Xbox finally gets its uh, visual heavyweight. Well, it, it's had visual heavyweight in the form of races and stuff. Starfield, I thought it was a very beautiful game. Not in, in the sense of comprehensively because they had some disgusting npcs but the volumetric lighting or whatever you call it was beautiful but this this is on another level bro and, and if they say horizon horizon is nice if you like freaking viva pinata as your color palette but bro this is a real cinema kind of game the visual aesthetic that nick marseille will not admit but he would prefer 10 times over than freaking horizon look at this the details are astounding. Hellblade 2 is shaping up to be another beautiful nightmare. And I see a lot of people being concerned about the fact that this game is pretty much like the first game. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. It's just like the first game. It's the same more. I'm sorry. PlayStation guys, you have literally been happy with sequelitis defines your life. Don't you dare cry. Don't you dare cry. But there are points to be made about how much variety we get in combat and puzzles. Okay, so I'm not going to get carried away, Vlad. I'm not going to get carried away. Look at this game, Vlad. This, they have to stretch your anus so far to say this game doesn't look good, bro. Ah. Oh. It's amazing. And you know what the funny thing is? We've seen this part, this part here. Like, was one of the first things they showed off in the uh, in the Game Awards or whatever they showed it off. And look at God of, God of War looks like a cartoon compared to it, Vlad. Look at this, Vlad. How can you go from this to that? Cartoon. Cartoon. It still looks nice, but cartoon compared to this. Don't compare the visual aesthetics, Vlad not even comparable for a person of refined taste. Hellblade 2 looks beautiful, bro. <laughs> looks beautiful. Shout out Cassie Cage in the chat. Captain Chats. Everything is okay, right? My stream's working fine. <laughs> What's up, Ranting? A great gamer. Shout out to you. World-renowned Geohan says it looks mess. Slap! Slap that pizza <laughs> in the face. Look at this visual aesthetics little track there's so many effects this is a, a game for refined tastes and you know what not everyone's going to appreciate it but you know what you should you should appreciate it because this is a visual stellar this is why one of the best examples out put forward for consolidation in my opinion because ninja theory small indie studio they didn't have much money and then they finally get some funding. And then they realize their dreams. They realize their visions. And then they take it 
to the next degree the best i mean yeah, hellblade one was a very good looking game let's not let's not deny it it was based on ue4 and it looked beautiful but it's only through microsoft funding that they can realize this some of that money may have gone on some uh ladies of the night which i'll touch upon in a bit but she this looks lit and i'm talking and I'm, I'm very excited for this game. Like, ooh, I put onto a desk on my Xbox stream. <laughs> and a lot of people are like, I, and I don't think this is going to be a game for everyone. A lot of people are weighing this up against God of War in terms of gameplay. Like, what are you doing? Like, it's just stupid. Stop doing that. Stop comparing this to something that it's not. Hellblade 2 is meant to be a slog. We need to tackle something as serious as mental illness. If you've played the first game, then you'll understand and even when you played the first game it was only after you you know when you complete the game and you can watch like an epilogue or you can actually pick it on the menus uh behind what the game was about that it truly hit home what the themes were what i mean they were obvious but it really hammered home the the intricacies of mental illness and a psychosis and things like that and you know half the time you're playing the game you're like is this all in her mind or is this actually happening? And the combat looks great. A lot of people are crying about the combat. Um, and, you know, they're like, oh, you hired the God of War guy. And they've got freaking Game of Thrones here showing off. And they're like, oh, the, the combat looks uh, like stale. It's very similar to the, the old game. You're only facing one enemy at a time. And I'm like, that's, that's what we want. How much shit do I get for uh, my opinions on Gears of War, blood? How much shit do I get? How much shit? Bruh! And what do I say with Gears of War? Slow it down, make it meaty, make them less enemies on screen, less bullet sponging, and oh, look at this, look at this. I put my tunes, blood. My tunes cut. My tunes cut. This game is beautiful. This game is beautiful, man. Like the, the, a lot of people like it's dark everywhere and stuff. It depends. The game is thematically going to be dark, so you're going to get. I'm muted. Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh shit! Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Go, can you hear me? Can you hear me now for the second time? Say yes now. Say yes now, you can hear you. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Bruv, go exercise. A freaking hard way. I don't know, three, four hundred pounds? And the company stopped supporting it. And this is this is where all my autotune madness happens, bruv. This. Look at this. Ah, oh, this thing. And this thing, just if you tap it now, it doesn't work, bruv. It's stupid, blood. Oh, shit. I've got the wires tangled and everything just to do that work to my life. Rawly, rawly. But you can't hear the music here, right? Can't hear the music because I can't hear it, bruv. Bruv, why is my life... Such a murkage. One second, chat. One second. One second, bro. Let me read the chat and uh, multitask while I'm at it. Oh, open sound settings, bruv. 
additional sounds where is spotify freaking music go play it i can't hear it what's going on bruv but you can hear me right i gotta do a setup tutorial someone needs to do a setup tutorial for me bro like what's going on my life my life all right one second chat one second i'm just gonna quickly try and get spotify up because the, the the tunage is the vibe and i've had a green tea and i'm flying oh shit that music was loud <laughs> oh you see you got some gr grime up in here it's drill music no what bruv 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 can you hear me yeah it should be okay now you should be good we should be good let's resume normal progress i don't even know how many people are in the chat i don't even i can't even see the chat lad one second one second one second yeah mm. bruv this is a murky and a half we good now chat <laughs> we're back <laughs> a little technical difficulties based on my freaking eccentricities um yeah we got this oh look at this both i'm excited about this game and you know i can keep showing you this game just looks beautiful man and i'm surprised how much they showed and look, look at that what's with her neck bro the exaggerated neck move look at her neck uh, uh. bro uh. But Melina Jorgens, she's bare safe. She's bare safe. That's weird there, but she's bare safe. And they've gone, like, in the old place where they... The original studio where they were filming, they didn't even have enough ceiling height to even wield weapons properly. And now, they're doing some madness. Game looks beautiful, okay? And it's not going to be for everyone. So, I don't know where the reviews are going to sit for this. Because... I just don't think it'll be for everyone. But it depends on a lot of reviewers understand what the vibe that's going for and a lot of gamers won't uh get it as well and i'm so grateful that this is a uh, shorter game but well we'll see we'll see solo cab i have to look at my mobile phone for chat bro because i'm freaking moving between so many different windows blood let me just read the chat sorry chat sorry chat uh what you said shout out 108 of you in the chat for this tiny little humble channel i am humbled please smash the like button as we get a little bit more 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 organized it will come it will come things you haven't even seen yet lad. newest says reviews will have xbox tags <laughs> probably gray fox says guys i saw uh, koito walking on the streets of amsterdam this afternoon <laughs> in 30 frames <laughs> Did you actually though? Did you actually? Because he's in Amsterdam right now. They've flown him off there to play Elder Scrolls Online. Unreal Engine 5 is where it's at. It really is where it's at. And you, you know what? It's not just me gassing up based on the visuals of the game. This game is getting rave. Like the previews are a good sign of how well this is doing. And you know, you've got Hellblade, Hellblade 2 will show us finally what an Unreal Engine game can do. Games Radar. What do they say? They say, let me bring it up for you, blood. They say, not only is it a fluid and responsive action adventure, boasting, shout out, I agree to everything. Um, it's also an experience with something meaningful to convey. So, Games Radar, who have a hard on for Gran Turismo over Forza, mother. They understand. They understand. And what about. You know, you want to talk about Xbox tax? There's some publications who have a, a, a little bit of a stiff up the lip against. Uh, <laughs> if I dare to suggest this, yeah? If I dare postulate this opinion, GameSpot, they have, they have a few ponies amongst their mitts. And they say that truly may cannot come soon enough. I can't remember the last time a game review preview left me so excited to dive into the full game. Um, I'm not just making that up. I've just taken quotes from it from the thing. Where is it? Where is it, blood? Anyway, it's probably at the end. Oh, yeah, there it is. Why did control F not work? 
So GameSpot are happy. Polygon are happy. And even, even like these reviews, we shouldn't really give them too much stock. Especially, especially the next one, which is IGN can suck my... But even they like it. The preview's looking positive. So all signs are that this game is so... It's so... So I'm excited about this game. It's good to finally get this game. This is my, probably my most anticipated game of 2024. What's coming out this year? That I'm, ah, this, is, this is my most anticipated game by far. By far. Absolutely. So, hmm. Start of the Xbox takeover. I wish I could say that, Michael. Angel Eskeli. What's it? Ezekiel Ortiz. What a sick name. Um, I, I can't say that anymore. Because I don't know what Xbox is doing with its exclusivity. And but you know, while Nick Marseille say, sits there and prays that this game comes out soon on his PlayStation 5 Pro, the rest of us will be playing this game. A Game Pass game. This is like this is kind of cra like crazy that we get games like this on Game Pass. Starfield was crazy, big budget game. You get that on Game Pass. You get Hellblade, these single player games. What happened? I thought it was all gas. Gas. Y'all gassed up too much, lad. What's up, Brunel? Oh, Bruno, I said Bruno. Bruno Cahello. Mad Madrigan, what do you think the budget has been? This is a double A game. They've said it's a double A game and the team size has increased. Like, it was like 40 to 60 or something like that. Very small team. This is a double A game or a modern double A game. With, I say double A, but this one might have a bit of an asterisk on it because it's obviously had Xbox's eye on it, yeah? And I'm going to talk about frame rate in a bit and the absolute murkages involved. But today we also found out a, a bit of a shocking revelation um, is the fact that Tamim Antionades, the game director and co-founder of Ninja Theory, he's caught flat. He's not even there anymore. And they, they reveal that today of all days, along with the previews and along with the frame rate. Now, can I even show this, bruv? This guy is such a debauch character. I have been following this. ever since my brother Faisal told me about this guy. He said, "This you need to follow him on Instagram. You need to know and ask yourself, is this guy actually... Is my camera's bare blurry, bro. I didn't even realize. I'm not even looking at my face. My face looks so oily, blood. Um, he said... What did he say? He said, look, this guy just freaking chills all the time. Oh, my camera's bare dark. That's why... Bro, look at this, bro. Look at this, bro. This is what he does. This is what he does. And he chills all the time. This is all he's doing. This is what he, he's always with random, beautiful women. I can't even hate him. I can't even hate on him for doing that. But he's surrounded by random, beautiful people all the time. Would I do anything different? No. So I can't. Oh, are you working, blood? Oh, bruv. And I told even the Pony Nation and Nibbles even had to do a little bit of research. You know what he does. And he did it. And look at him, bruv. He's living the best life. He took that Microsoft money and spunked it off of massive yachts and holidays. Went off in private parties with that chick on the right. Damn. And then you're breaking my fast. I'm luckily it's broken. Look at these guys. Bruv, this is, he's in a sex cult. Tamim Antionides is in a sex cult, 100%. Look at that. That looks like a painting, bruv, of debauchery. It's like the entrance to hell. Is that well done. You paid the price. Now come to the barbecue. Look at the way is. I just noticed his hand. This is, this is not appropriate. I'm sorry. It's Ramadan. Shame on you guys. But this is this guy's life. Tamim Antionides leaves. Slightly concerning, no, because more like departures from key departures of key personalities from xbox first parties but i've been side-eyeing this guy for ages and you if you follow us on game on daily you'll know i'll be making fun of this guy for god knows what he's doing and making fun of him through position of envy to me you're a crazy brother i like your style and you know what if you get away with hellblade 2 being actually a good critical game you get even more respect like how the hell did he do it mm. Mm. No hatred there. No hatred there. Whether or not, why did he leave? Was he a good person to work with? And does this impact Ninja Theory? 
These are questions. I don't know. <laughs> Leo Lyon says, looks like a ditty party. It is, it does, it does. Is that puffy? <laughs> Invincible. Bruh, I don't know, man. I don't know, chat. It is, it is what it is. So you find out, you get this. I wake up this morning and I see the preview. The first thing I see is the preview of this game. Someone links it in my WhatsApp. It's like, yo, you need to check this out, bruv. Like, this looks sick. All right, I go in, I check it out. I'm like, safe, this game looks sick. Looking at the freaking video, like, it looks amazing, bro. I'm just like, this game, madness, beautiful. I'm surprised they're showing that much gameplay for this game. I thought they're gonna really hold, because the game is so short. Probably shows you like 20% of the game. It's a short game. And, and I'll talk about that in a bit. But then I find out the not so shocking revelation, something that I've been saying for a while. I said, you know what? I guarantee you this game's gonna be 30 frames. And I also said, you know what? It wouldn't even surprise me if it had a 24 FPS filmic mode because they've employed techniques in this game, like mimic the cinema style stuff, like the lenses, bokeh effect, and you know, the um, aspect ratio, all that shit. The black bars, the black bars. I used to make fun of the order 86 for those bars, but then when I played it, I'm like, okay, I get it. But it's still restrictive. And there comes with major negatives with that now i like it and if you see some of my like source videos you will see i add those cinematic it changed cha completely different it just switch it up to 24 frames so, uh, a video put some black bars in it and obviously reframe your shot so it makes use of the rule of thirds all that stuff but it makes a big difference it makes a big difference uh, a lot of people crying about it. Oh, look at these black bars. The same people who sucked off the Order 886, you son of a... What are you talking about? Talking about, you wasteman. Post the old wasteman. Don't be gassing Order 886 and then cry about this, Vlad. Black bars. I'll show you bars. Dick. Ah. Killed my, my my microphone. I've done it. Can you hear me? Something's happened. The music stopped. There's something happened. Tell me, chat. I rely on your feedback. I rely on your. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, why is Spotify constantly crashing like that? Mine up. Oh shit! No music. The music stopped. That's why I actually thought. Rust Club, what happened, bro? Madness. Now, game looks good. Previews look good. Tamim leaves in the minor. Everything's good. But let's talk about frame rate, yeah? Let's talk about frame rate, yeah? Because I don't get it, bro. Like, why is this a point that I have to fight over the community, bro? So this is the tweet I see. Shout out to Idol Slot. Such a nice guy, man. He's a super chill guy. And he reports it in a tweet. He says, Hellblade 2 will run at 30 FPS with dynamic...
I think we're back. Work. I think we're back. Sorry, chat. Do you know what I just did to make it work? I smashed the Go XLR against the desk to make it work. Smashed it against the desk. There's obviously a hardware problem on this. Bruv, I need to sue these mother bitches, bruv. Ruining the stream. Making me lose all of $1.25, blood. Holy bruv. I tried everything. Restarting runners admin. <sighs> it's been an emotional time. <sighs> occasion Sully by the fact that the frames just like red ball and stuff here I've been one of the more relaxed entrants I would say about this whole 30 to 60 frames per business and I, don't, I hear all the excuses i hear all the nonsense wait the fuck is up with my stream i see it all it's a it's an under engine 5 game look how much it's doing is a visually best in class you expected it you expected it to be 60 where were you blood where were you a few months ago? They did the same thing they did before with the other games. A month before the game's release. Oh, by the way, it's 30 frames. So much for your transparency. And it feels better. I have it on record. This brethren has been talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. We even been kind of funny. You know, you know we've got to be more transparent with the frames. Uh, frames. And then in the same interview, they says, well, we give that answer about Starfield. He goes, yep. Yeah. Like he just shat himself. And the same thing happened here, bruv. They lie to you all the time. Is it a big deal, guys? Is it a big deal for me? Yes and no. I will not enjoy... Well, I will enjoy this game less. Because when I was watching that IGN gameplay, I was like, damn, it's 60 frames and it runs. looks smooth as hell. But if they gave me an option to play this at, say, 30 frames, they said, you know, we will put up everything. This is the mode because it's cinematic the way this game is enjoy it at that i would probably pick the 30 mode i've said this multiple times but the optics of the world's most powerful console doing this not once not twice but thrice is bad i don't care if it's incidental with the release of this game the game that freaking was shown off with the launch of the xbox console blad this is supposed to be the game that you and I have no faith in Microsoft actually leveraging the power of its consoles. They can't even give you the... They don't have the decency to prioritize their own hardware over that of the competitors. Hi-Fi Rush runs, has better, runs better on the PlayStation. Yeah, Shadows, you won't notice it. Oh, it's on the studios because they didn't do it. And the PC version still hasn't got those amazing Shadows. I don't give a shit. You're freaking Microsoft. Keep your eye on these studios and make sure they give you the stankest experience and prioritize the console. Everything else is lip service. It's lip service is bollocks. Don't fall for that bullshit. And they feed that shit to you all the time. And the defensive Xbox descended upon me. How dare you, Gaz? How dare you, the double standards? And I want you to see. I want you to see firsthand the freaking 
machinations in the empty, hollow, vapid brains of these morons. Check this idiot out, bruv. How is it? Well, world's most powerful console. And then he goes, and I was trying to say, I need to find the tweet where I said this was going to happen. And I still need to look for it. I can't be asked. Someone else can do it. And then look at this guy. Thinking he's clever with this freaking, what kind of freaking AI image thing. They made himself look like a Pixar character's talking bollocks to me, blad. And he goes, I mean, double standards are a thing, I guess. I said, guys, Drogma's, Dragon's Dogma 2 is incredible. Did, sorry, did I say Hellblade 2 is a shit game? And in the very tweet, someone asked, how's the performance? Not great. In this very tweet, you fucking idiot, you great supine protoplasmic invertebrate jelly who stitches your mouth into Phil Spencer's ass, who twists you around into a pretzel so you shit inside the same orifice you eat from and then you dare, dare to question me. This guy in the same picture. I'm saying it. Game is great, performance not so great. What am I talking about my Hellblade 2, blood? What am I talking about? The internet's full of morons like this guy. I'm like, what are the double standards, please? Loving a game that struggles to sustain any decent performance. Hating on a game. Where? Where's the hate? Hating on a game. These people are idiots. Like I said, if you have people like this in your life, Cut them out! I am the Messiah! Oh, console wars. I spell to you the truth. But these idiots are a dime a dozen. A dime a dozen. And then, it's not just the Xbox fans. It's the PlayStation fans. And I see this all the time. I see this all the time. Oh! And just like that, shorter story heavy single player games are not only okay by xbox but they pretend uh, but they're preferred you you call these one and done let me explain to you let me go remedial on your ass for all the ponies also. oh you like single player sad dad games what do you think the point is about is it one game is it two games your big budget games that you herald are all sad that they, that's what we were saying your uncharted your freaking the last of us your god of war the point isn't that you have one the point is that you have this rope formula you repeat ad nauseum and xbox gets just one just one it's not even, and it's hellblade 2 a sequel to a game that first appeared on playstation first you absolute I don't get it. And then this guy's like, oh, but you like short games only as well, bruv. Yeah. I like short games only. And then imagine the receipts. I have been advocating shorter games for time. Here's BG talking about the fact that people criticize it. And I was defending of all games. Why, why am I so pure in my heart? Why am I so pure? Even the shitty Spider-Man 2, which I haven't played. But this Spider-Man 2, I came out to his defense on the game length. I said, you know, I could have left it, watch. Just sit there and join in on the, the shit flinging on. I think, and no one does this on the PlayStation side. No one does it. No one does it. No one is like me, which is why I get so many people on the Xbox camp hate me. Why do you do this? Because the source requires equity. And I, here I am saying, look, give me 15 games. Heck. <laughs> If you can make it 10 hours and condense the quality, I'd be happy. There's probably even less than that. October 2023. Even before that, I've got, been saying this on podcasts. I said, not every single game has to be massive, but games like Spider-Man Spider -Man or Hellblade, I'm happy with 15 hours. Shorter games. Shorter games. So the concise, don't bloat that shit to give us freaking what's it called don't give us a uh, freaking bloated content to justify your 70 dollar price tag sick and tired of it and the formula is now open world and chuck loads of freaking um side quests and bollocks at you that's that's not good gameplay design and then hellblade 2 goes out of its way hellblade 2 has freaking 
40, 40 quid price tag it's digital only i don't give a shit well some people care about physical i don't care give me the shorter games give me the saucy games bruv i like that i want that i need that Wait, let me give over chat George Purcell with a two pack shout out to you, man. Because I'd rather play 30 FPS, to be honest. Look at Final Fantasy VII Remake. This is a good point. People play for Nick Marseille. He's a FPS connoisseur with his PlayStation. <laughs> and he's been loving Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is apparently a blurry mess according to Digital Foundry, which he. He, doesn't, he, will, he will selective amnesia. He will ignore that. And you'll play that on that shitty blurry fidelity mode, right? Or performance mode. What I want that, what I want, what George Purcell is saying, 30 FPS, but blurry as fuck, like Final Fantasy VII Remake. I mean, 60 and blurry or 30. I think they should still give you the choice, but I would pick the 30. Give me a clearer image all day, every day. All day, every day. Gray Fox says, after three hours of Hellblade, I already had disturbing thoughts. I'm glad part two is only eight hours. I hope you're okay with that, bro. Like the game, what kind of thoughts? Christian A says 60 FPS will be the standard, but the architecture allows for 120 frames per second. That's Aaron Greenberg's tweet. And that tweet has not aged well. In fact, let me see if I could show you. This was this was spamming my uh my my feed like everywhere. Um where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh so if you go here, and I guarantee you'll see it. World's most powerful console. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. It's here somewhere. Well, Aaron Greenberg's. Who is this? Bro? Aaron Greenberg was liking um, Wandering Duchess tweet where he said, "Well, he did clarify that you know, developers." Developers have autonomy in what they want to pick. You have a creative choice. But the game is 60 on PC. Don't give me that excuse. Like, and if it's a Hellblade thing, we can forgive it. What next? I have zero confidence in Microsoft and Xbox leveraging the power of this box. But I'm just grateful this looks good. And I want it to be great. But that Aaron Greenberg tweet does not age well. If you are not in a position right now where you side-eye... What anything what an executive any executive but especially a microsoft executive says i don't know what to say to you bro captain chat says the right thing after the whole 60 will be the standards to be i'm sorry greenberg's word mean very little to me he's a marketing guy he's gonna give you that spiel but ultimately they have failed on several fronts and as far as the hellblade is concerned fine it's not materially going to impact enjoyment of the game for a lot of people because the game is doing a lot but for the xbox as a brand people are like oh no don't blame don't blame xbox blame the studio or vice versa like I was, the freaking platform is not when playstation even though it doesn't have a ue5 heavy crazy game like this from its first party yeah is d giving you comprehensive game modes it doesn't operate in a vacuum and if you don't have that mindset and you're sitting there bending over, accepting everything all the time. This ain't the channel for you, bro. You're in the wrong place, Vlad. This is the sauce. We speak the truth. The truth. Go hug yourself says, that tweet was factually true. 95% has been 60 to 120. 120? Xbox Series S has more 120 FPS games than PlayStation. He's talking about back compat, right? That doesn't count, bro. That doesn't count, bro. I'm sorry, that doesn't count. If Xbox goes no 30 FPS, 60 FPS, I think that's not right either. Jason, you're right. Like, what you don't want is for them to not say anything and set any standard. And 
but the thing is when microsoft first look let me get this clear all right let me make it clear red 4 is disgusting now don't say oh but 60 fps now after what a year after its launch game is forgotten shit game whatever if that dog shit barely a tech demo game is 30 barely 30 not even fixed 30 at launch come from here blood useless shit starfield another bad look even though i said i like it volumetric lighting and i'm glad they took that view and that di direction but still bad for xbox the world's most powerful console when your competition is doing it no matter what if it's cross-gen no matter whatever it's still a bad look how can you not get that and then you've got this game in fact actually before hellblade i'll talk about forza forza motorsport couldn't even best could even be, well before besting well it couldn't even best gran turismo 7 which is a cross-gen game and for that i say to turn 10 shame on you you faltered you failed you failed to on many metrics you failed with forza but then you failed with that even though i think it's a beautiful game in many ways massively downgraded though based on what you showed us and what actually happened from their gameplay direct developer direct egregious egregious that's a massive downgrade even on pc come for me blood xbox fans may not like this why is he cutting it or are you trying to make the ponies happy do you think i give up about ponies except making their lives difficult but i have to be true to myself this is my feelings this is the truth xbox has shamefully failed on the power front shamefully and this is an extension of that but that's an xbox problem let them fix it hellblade 2 to me needs to be more important as a beautiful looking game go hug yourself says side by side forza motorsport looks more real than gt7 it depends situationally in some areas it i i personally prefer forza's looks in some areas definitely nighttime definitely and some areas like replay mode uh Gran Turismo looks better it even has a 120 fps mode it does G uh, vr which is great on Gran Turismo so I, i'm not really gonna give it like i'm disappointed i haven't actually gone back to forza for a while which i want to because i feel like the driving model for me was so good and way beyond my expectations but that's a forza topic <laughs> we digress i'm sure you got super chat the pews thank you for the 10 dollars and your first super chat there seems to be consensus that xbox is doing next gen in 2026 if that's the case would you call this gen a success for them overall very good question and if not is there time to turn it around cheers bro thank you bro then that's a very good super chat that i have to need to think about <laughs> nah this generation is not a success for xbox it, it's deeper than that bruv like all of last gen was supposed to be the setup for this gen and even now i'm talking about the setup for the next gen and in that sense nah nah in that sense it's not a success this generation, they have bled hardware cells worse than the Xbox One. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. They they faltered many ways. Xbox has faltered with Halo Infinite. Delayed. Visually. Eh. Forza, I talked about. Games that the first part is not really hitting it that hard. Starfield didn't hit that hard. Massive commercial success, but whatever. But it still haven't. So I don't think that. So it's a very good question. Here I am actually postulating about Xbox coming in early, which I think they should 100% do. But there are some successes in its what acquisitions. And it depends on how the generation ends. Are we going to get games from 2024, 2025, 2026 on the Series X? It's all about the games. What games are you going to release next year? All that can change though. The pews. All that can change if like fable comes out next year and fable smashes it and i think and i've said this before fable out of all of microsoft's first party studio sounds the best chance of being one of their best games high rated game beautiful looking game 
excellent game that even does what no fable under Peter Molyneux could have done. It could happen, bruv. It could happen, bruv. It's a very good question. Very good question. I need to think about it. Still need to think about it. Go hug yourself says this gen is only three years old and Xbox One releases are boosted by one X cells. Xbox Series X is not. Yeah, but in the same time frame. But in the same time frame, Xbox One is tracking ahead. Blood. Blood. New West says Fable will be the last hope. Hmm. Hmm. That's a good point, actually, Newest. For me, personally, well, I, I, there's lots of good... We've, we've got the roadmap, yeah? But Fable's the big one for me. A perfect dog, which I have very little... I don't even know what's happening with that. Please surprise me. Please. <laughs> Please surprise me. Razor Ultra goes, when will those hats be available? Okay, let me... Let me... Quickly do a little bit of... Little... So shameless plug razor very soon my idea of doing merchandise was a little bit ambitious this is like a lot of my ideas yeah but to do what i wanted to do was make bespoke high i mean high quality that could rival designer brands quality stuff like speaking to people get them made and then sell them limited edition stuff and i will get to that because I got the best designer, Jake. Um, and we will do that. But I think what I will do is I'll set up a store with the basic essentials. And this, and we'll have the sauce hat and the sauce. Bro, Teespring is shit, yeah, in my opinion. But this this top is sick. I have abused the shit out of it. This rebrand was ready in June, July. Bro, it looks sick. I get so many people like, I had this, the other day, I had this like old freshy, like Asian person goes, he was just reading a septic sauce. I was like, huh? He's like, septic sauce. He just pointed at me on my back. I'm like, what are you doing, bruv? Why you say my name, bruv? But, and I get it all the time. There's like, oh, where'd you get that top from? It looks sick. I want to do it. Oh, look at my hairy chest. <laughs> yeah, bruv. It looks sick. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's actually a really nice top. I will set it. It's a good design. Mm, sorry, I got distracted. I'll get, I'll get it to you, Vlad. But before I do, oh shit! Join the Discord, blood. I was gonna do a phone in, but I, I'm just a bit shook. I need to uh, do like a phone in, and why is freaking Spotify there, blood? Cut from here. I don't know any patrons in the chat. I have newest, thank you for putting that out there. I didn't even put that out there. Newest is shout out to newest man. He supports me like madly. Um. Bro, am I on solo cam? Yeah. So if you guys want to phone in, let me know, bro. I'll do that. Oh, well, whenever you guys are ready. I'll, I'll get it ready next time. Fox, Fox, fuck you. Says I find spring tea quality of print average. What do you use? I use Teespring, but I want to use a better one. I found a better one that shout out to Blaze let me know about. Um, I'll wait for your vision to be realized. Thank you, Razor, bro. Screw ponies, man. If Hellblade was 60 FPS, we would be getting zoomed in 144. Bro, forget the ponies, man. Ponies talking bollocks, bro. Ponies have been repping last Ronin visually, bro. Like, even trying to downplay that. Hellblade 2 is incredible. Incredible looking game. I'm just hoping, I'm hoping and praying the gameplay hits it out. 30 FPS is a fail. It's an L. Just admit that for the Xbox brand. Xbox is in a weird place right now. I have no confidence in the leadership. But all we can ask for as Xbox fans of former xbox brand no, i was not loyalist i was never that but it's just good games give us good games guys that's the one i said it the, said it that's the one i said it the wrong way around what did you say bro i've already forgot <laughs> guys you can leverage your pakistani connections if you don't want to compromise on quality of garment Mozambique, i need to find good Pakistani freaking um, uh, people, bro. Like good textile people. I was thinking about that. Think about it. Because I've got connections back home, but I need to know anyone who does good garments. Make a sick quality custom made from game. Oh, that's such a good idea, man. I should show you like my deck. <laughs> Business deck. For my own purposes to kind of... I want to tell you about my business mindset. You don't give a shit about that. 
Let me be like Reforge Gaming. Give me money. <laughs> I disagree, guys. Says after ABK, what's down the pipeline? I'm extremely happy for the state of Xbox. Fair enough. I envy you. I envy you because I don't think I have no confidence in, in Xbox. I just hate the, I hate where we are. I wanted consolidation for, and more from PlayStation and from Microsoft. And then they form these islands and they compete ri rigorously. And today, what did we find out? And, and uh, l let me show you this chat. <laughs> the fuckeries. <laughs> and it, it's like, look at the look at the responses I get. Yeah. Microsoft is not only forsaking his brand. It's giving preferential treatment to the enemy playstation guys get exclusive sea, exclusive sea of thieves content bro like hey thank you so much it was bad enough that rare were practically salivating at the fact that playstation games were coming uh see if Thieves was coming to playstation and now get them, get them extra stuff hi-fi rush let it work better on playstation pentiment not a game that we yet any played of no one played has 120 hertz mode on playstation not on xbox oh they had it in now it all it took was an xbox version to realize <laughs> and look at the comments all i say is come on blood and they're like J Dub was having a fucking field day. Phil loves us ponies and hates you, but criminality. <laughs> what the hell is Uni has been going crazy here. Like actual legit crazy. Uh it's crazy. I swear y'all are so embarrassing. A game that y'all talked about the whole time and all of a sudden you care about it because it's going on PlayStation. Ricked days, bruv. Xbox gamers who played the game and got a ton of exclusive shit that PlayStation will never get, but keep bitching. My response is, why are you crying? Like, bruv. It's the whole point is that you leverage... Like, it's disgraceful that you've had to resort to giving your games to the competitor console. Now you can... What do I know? What do I know? It's only just cosmetics. How many people are in my, my thread by... It's just cosmetics. Yeah. That's the only thing you can buy is cosmetics. You can't buy pay to win stuff on Sea of Thieves, bro. The whole point is cosmetics is the store. It's what what you grind for in the game. Come on, bro. Seek and destroy all players with the PlayStation exclusive stuff and Sea of Thieves. It will be like the Scarlet Letter for them. Actually, you know what? I would love. They, they even gave PlayStation options to turn off crossplay. Like, but never mind. It would be nice. If we had on Sea of Thieves a, a pony versus Xbox like lobbies, that would be pretty sick, isn't it? Just two sets of like, just do it. I, I wish more crossplay games in, like Call of Duty, have a PlayStation versus Xbox playlist and mandatory in game chat. Oh my god, the merkages on that chat would be beautiful. Maybe like Modern Warfare 2 days all over again. Oh, I would love that to happen. Please. Someone do it. Someone have the balls to do a PlayStation versus Xbox playlist in a... You'll sell so much. I could make a game and just make a basic ass game. I have that and it will work. Xbox Mike says, I love pretty graphics, man. If I have to sacrifice frame rate, so be it to each their own. Absolutely. So, so what? Xbox already got loads of content that PC didn't. And has crossplay options on and off. Okay. Saw so your back and forth with Destin. You should try and get him on the podcast. Bruv, Destin only reaches out to you when he wants something or wants to talk about something. And then when I reach out to him and say, hey, do you want to come on the podcast? He doesn't even have the courtesy to say, nah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm too busy. And I did that. I was like, yo, 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 yo. Do you want to come on the show? Nothing. And then he reaches out. He goes, hey, what about this? Blood. Go suck your mum, blood. Oh, who do you think I am, bro? You have the courtesy to say, sorry, man, I can't make it. But I have nothing against Destin, bro. We just... 
bastard is in on damage control mode, man. Like, for whatever reason, man. If he's worried about his fan base switching on him. Do you think I care about that? In this channel, do you think I care about that? The moment I started, I lost subs, lost super chats, lost everything. Because in, in this community, if you are blindly Xbox and, you know, you do that whole Xbox loyalist, loyalist thing. Instantly, I mean, you make loads of money. I'm getting ma massive subs. But the moment I stopped, went, went away. And I knew it was going to happen. Because I don't want a bunch of freaking one-dimensional brain-dead morons here. I want people who can actually think for themselves. Who understand critical analysis. Who understand accountability. Who can understand jokes and humor. Who can understand satire. So... These guys can cut from my lives, bro. I don't care. It's all about keeping it real. And then trust me, it's like you can count on your hand how many people keep it real in this space, bro. When keeping it real goes wrong. Please invite Island Gaming with Jay on. I don't know who that is. Um, why black bars in 2024? Come on, <sighs> bro. If it, that is an artistic decision, let it happen. Same reason, uh, black bars in movies, why? It's not an old thing. It's a cinematic thing. Come on, man. Like, like you're saying it like black bars is an old, like antiquated gaming, like design thing. It's not, it's a, it's a unique thing, blood. I just need to understand and recognize. Modern, Phantom Delicate's Modern Warfare 2 days. We can only dream. I okay. Oh, Modern Warfare 2 was a madness, man. I love Modern Warfare 2, bro. Those days were my favorite. I played that game so much. I had 148 tactical nukes. Every time I got the tactical nuke, I would put it in my bio. I was so good, people recognized me in the game. Like, oh no, it's septic. Some Americans recognized me. Invite Gamester on the show. I don't know who these people are. Um, if you go on my Twitter and just go, do me a favor, get on the Discord, blood. Let me just freaking send it to you. This is supposed to be a patron only thing, but I just want to get more people in there now. I'm going to post it in there. Get on the Discord, chat to me, because that's where, I, if you notice I'm quieter on Twitter, it's because I'm on freaking uh, Discord. Hugging Chatty! <laughs> What's up, Dad? <laughs> Shout out to Hoggy, man, with a $5 super chat. Thank you, man. So I guess D, Zorka, and I were right when we were concerned that these UE5 games will be 30 FPS. Yes, you were. You weren't the only one saying that. Will Gears 6 4 go graphical to give you 60? Very good question, Hoggy. Very good, good question. I'll tell you what will happen with Gears. I'll tell you what will happen. Gears will have. At the minimum, at the minimum. Gears will have a 60 FPS multiplayer mode. Strip down multiplayer. It will have that. The single player, maybe just 30. But the coalition are so talented, it wouldn't surprise me if a 30 and 60 uh, FPS performance mode. Yeah. But it's multiplayer, yeah, it will be 60. Newest says Robocop is UE5 and 60. Absolutely. Uh, that's a game I need to play on stream. That looks amazing. I have so many games to play on stream. I need to do a Sekiro stream again. And then I need to do Mortal Kombat again. I might just go hard on the streaming this weekend. But I'm going to make videos as well. Do you know if Hellblade 2 will have... Uh, I'm making a PS5 port. I have a bad feeling it will release by PlayStation by the end of the year. That's what I heard. Whether or not it's true, I don't know anymore. You don't report this. Idle slot. But one of the, well, the first things I heard was there's a PlayStation 5 version in the works. That was the first thing I heard. And that was in December, which is why I tweeted in December, like, this is happening. There's a playable version of Hellblade 2 in their offices on PlayStation 5. That's what I've heard from good sources. Whether or not they cancelled it, I don't know whether it's going to happen. But in my opinion, I think it's going to happen. I hope they freaking cancel this vision, man. It's diluting the brand to the point where they, are, they don't get it. I'm sorry. Phil's about to put me in your office there. Show me your numbers and I'll still tell you. Got it wrong. 
Rambling entertain. Robocop deeps to 30 FPS with many enemies around. Mm. Robocop is an awesome game. I need to play it. But you're going to get a lot more of this. It's like, you're going to get a lot more 30 frames. For Hellblade, it's not going to be the outlier here. What play... <laughs> A PlayStation doesn't even have a freaking roadmap. We can't even talk about their games, let alone postulate whether they're going to be 60 or 30, whether or not they're going to be on Unreal Engine 5. Like, what are they making, bro? Wolverine will probably be 60, definitely, based on what they showed. I know it's very early on and stuff, but it's going to be like Spider Man. That's going to have a performance mode, and they'll get respect for that. Absolutely. I give them their props for that. But, mm. Should they release Hellblade 2 day and date on PS5? I think they should! Hoggy, what? Hoggy, what? Hoggy, you're the guy who said. Hi Fi Rush, this is our time! Razor Ultra says, let Hoggy know his YouTube account has been hacked. Hoggy, what? You were doing the rounds with the clips of you admirably being honest and saying, what the hell are you doing? No, this is our time. Don't put it on place. Are you suggesting that now that the floodgates have opened, they should do that? That's... Uh, they've defeated poor Hoggy. But you know what? Maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. Oh, Hoggy. Why are you losing faith in the Xbox brand? You PC monster race home. Oh, Hoggy. Hoggy. Here's Hoggy's angle on this. Because I think they, if, I think if they want a 90 Metacritic, then they should put a PlayStation. Otherwise, incoming high 70s, low 80s metal for Hellblade 2. Hoggy. Hoggy. What are you saying to me, man? Differentials of like 20. 20 from 70 to 90. Hoggy! The Xbox tax is not that strong. Did you not see the previews, Hoggy? They seem to be pretty positive so far. I know they're previews. But come on, bro. Come on, bro. Fusing entry night. 39. Fusing entree, I think it's supposed to say 39. And he's, he's right. He says, as soon as Hellblade 2 releases, you will see people saying, when will it come to PlayStation 5? And he's right. They should put it on PlayStation at this point and every game. Okay, not that point. But they were, they're already saying it. And I can't wait to play it on my PS5. Nick must say it's like a little, like a seal. <laughs> PS5, PS5, this guy. Hashtag Xbox Tax. <laughs> I love you, Hoggy. Hoggy's writing a book. It's not based on Gears of War, despite the name of the book, which is called Emergent. <sighs> Look, the Xbox community right now on socials is very deflated. Phil Spencer or Aaron Greenberg or anyone, if you are even actually one of the 124 people, hit the like button if you're enjoying the things. If you are actually watching it to hear the truth of this obnoxious man who you hate, you are making a big mistake. I don't care if Satya Nadella's bald head is just raining dandruff on you. Do bald people have dandruff? Do bald people have... I'm not, I'm not going to Google that. Uh, do bold people have dandruff? Maybe let me do a poll. Do bold people have... Do bold people have dandruff? Yes? No. Either way, Satya Nadella has banned dandruff. And the mandate is coming from Satya. And he's saying... 
I don't care about competition. If you want to have competition, let us have competition. Like bastard back. <laughs> Max Mini goes, where's the risk it with his four sources? Apparently he's in the car crying. <laughs> By the way, this guy was actually, just to let you know, he was all like, oh, exclusivity is bad, 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 bad. It looks good. I'm supporting this thing. And then he saw the backlash from the community and he just, you turn. I believe they do because it's uh, from the scalp. Maybe, maybe. 60, 70, 67%. 68%. 69%. Say, more people have done 70% is going higher bastard Saturn and Stella has that drift confirmed fuck you what are you saying man <laughs> oh. the xbox community is deflated and I tried to inject life into it and I'm, I feel like I'm one of the few bots on twitter that's fighting the good fight still putting it ponies a little bit of sauce and masala in the ponies and the ponies keep they, you know what the ponies are like they, they love it they just want to uh, they just want to lick my nipples uh, uh, are we friends now uh, guys the same vitriolic talentless moronic absolute toxic despots will be like uh, uh, in my threads like we are friends but we're not friends. And I always remind them, we'll never be friends. You piece of shit. You bloody piece of shit. You know, uh, some of the Xbox channels, they call me Tony Bot. Yeah, these guys, most of these podcasts where they spit out Pony Bot. The true definition of a Pony Bot is a play X bot who behaves like a PlayStation fanboy. And believe me, there's so many. There's so many. And they just downplay. And the primary behavior of a pony bot is one that damage controls and bends over backwards to accept everything from Xbox. That is the true definition of, of pony bot. And if you're in this channel, and if you subscribe to this channel, you have joined the refined, refined gentlemen's club and women's. Here, in this channel, we speak truth. It's a free open forum. And if you're a shit, then we call you a shit. But it's gonna be a beautiful in its raw simplicity, in its factual something trilogies. <laughs> yeah, it's good. this is it. This is this is your safe haven. In an army full of freaking single-minded protoplasmic morons with their single-digit IQs who pander to everything. Here you are. I deliver to you the truth, the Messiah of the lost Godzilla, of the Spencer, the Godzilla. Xbox lost the world, Godzilla. Now it's platform wars, platform wars, not as much fun, but I'll be there, cause I'm a piece of shit. <sighs> I missed it, I missed, I missed the constant wars, I missed the fire, maybe I'm short sighted, maybe something will happen, maybe Full Spencer will find his testicles, and maybe he'll find his testicles and realize they're inside Saturn and Della's mouth, and then maybe he'll lift himself up and say, you know what, I need to put my foot down. Saturn and Della, you piece of shit, you are wrong, look how many people bought it, three people bought Pentamon, 15 people bought High Fire Rush, Sea of Thieves, Nick Marseille is the only person playing it, and he definitely has dandruff, why are we doing this? Let's do a U-turn. One kid dream. One good dream, cause Xbox will make me cream in my pants again, but not today. Oh, 65% of you said more people have done The poll has ended. Steam is the new, wait for it by the Xbox community. I saw the rumors of like what's happening with Steam. If they open their doors up to Steam, the PlayStation, the Xbox box becomes even more of a PC 
but if executed properly and i have no faith in them doing this, this is purely theoretical xbox would create the dankest means potentially would just overtake everything give like video editing software right off the bat you know cap cup style whatever on your phones for the content creators get your incredible streaming software built in you don't understand xbox the new generation love streaming they love twitch given the tools that they want because the new gen are clamoring for pc but you give them a windows based console device that is essentially pc that makes it easy for the tiktok generation and you will have a console that will sell in every territory from Asia to J Japan to Pakistan, India, Saudi Arabia. They love it. But can you design hardware? No. Do you have vision that's not close-minded? No. You don't have it. Hire me and I will make it a reality. But you can't afford me. <laughs> Sorry, I mean Steam plus handheld is the new way. Yeah, well we'll see we'll see I, I i'm actually very excited about what the, they can do with the handheld i will buy it because my 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 little brother destroyed my steam deck um but i love a native xbox device that is dockable and whatnot could work really well but i don't know what's going to change on console <laughs> what do you mean what do you what's what's going to change your console Satya will respond with, let's try day and day. <laughs> Satya and Della cannot be trusted. A septic sauce box. S free sex for everyone. It would be amazing. You want to dock gas? I don't know how to answer that question. Let me just say no. <laughs> oh, chat. I'm just rambling now. So it's good to finally get some news on, on on those like on the xbox front we've got a little bit of an insight into hellblade and now when we get more and more news about the xbox event and stuff and state of play uh jeff grubb has actually confirmed or not he's rumored to have a state of play coming next month chat newest knows yeah. newest always knows everything uh let me check uh, let me check the news feed on uh, <laughs> this gift, bro. Oh, here it is. PlayStation Showcase of State of Play made to happen in May, according to Jeff Rupp. That was a shit. May! Next month! Next month, yeah? That reminds me. I'm going to play I, so in my my <laughs> saucy duties of checking with the pony side i joined port rock channel who i really like i actually really like port rock um and yeah he's a pony and just, just like i'm a bot but he's reasonable now i joined his 60 frames uh, no lag and i hope he doesn't mind me streaming so why is why if i constantly popping up and I asked this simple question. But actually, let me let me mute. It. So this is what happens. Sometimes you have people with a chip on their shoulder. And I and I came across one. I pause the music for this. Maybe if you really want Port to complain, very very Port Rock, yeah. No matter what you say as a console view and is hardcore and he rubs people the wrong way, he is still a gentleman, and he is has common sense, and I like the guy. Even though sometimes me and him go hard at, that sounds, pause, pause, uh, at it. I joined, he invited me on the, off the blue because I was on his chat. And then you've got this guy, M. Yeah, I have massive chip on his shoulder. Look, Gaz is here. Let me just make my little pony squad happy. And check out this interaction. B bear in mind, he has not said anything. I've been talking about Unreal Engine 5 it's, and how I think the your industry fault. is going to change. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about here. Outside of the world. You say you want America to Didn't be less that. war, less, uh, you know, military. Well, you got gas, gas. Listen, my friend, how are you doing uh, in this time of struggle? I'm, listen, I am here for you. <laughs> listen, I, to I, let I you know. know if so I was talking Please. about, um, I'm um, not saying they will be. So I was talking about uh, Unreal Engine 5, and I think that's going to rejig 
triple a development and give more power to double a's and it's not a contentious um, point and then this is what happens remember that's the 90s bore me. oh my god this is boring why? Everything why you're saying point? is everything that's already been true. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, it's uh -oh, just like uh -oh. they keep talking about things that they've been true forever. The whole we're gonna okay. put games. Do you want me to talk about false PC. things? <laughs> we're gonna put things on PC, we're gonna put things on mobile, we're gonna put things on cloud. They said okay. that what 2013. So it's like that's been true. The whole Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine isn't new. The whole double A game, that's not new. Look, what's he, what's he talking about? I'm talking about Unreal Engine 5 and rejigging the balance and he's like it's not new. the whole industry is shifting the industry isn't shifting this guy he said, has audacity to say i'm boring he look only microsoft is that's it that's it the whole gas game. Lying. playstation playstation has been having gas games forever and there it is ladies and gentlemen apparently playstation has gas games forever this genius this is how much how tightly the stitches of his mouth to playstation's ass or cock are so tightly tightly bound do you don't you want to concede that it's a pivot i'm not even saying like is this even a contentious point it's a pivot oh no how dare how dare you suggest it's a pivot so they, they've been doing gas games forever simple question grand okay. trismo that's a gas game the gas trismo's gas game. they created a grand trismo sport that was pretty much entirely multiplayer. I'm sorry, what was it before so, that? Last gen? Name, name the gas games. Last gen. Grand Tree. Name the games. Last gen. If it's not a pivot, name the gas games. Right? There's a slight divergent, I know, from the topic, but l listen to the ponies. The, the the divide in between the eloquence. Well, not even I say eloquence, but the just the thought process. It's more sport. I just listed one. That's one gone. Yeah. Exactly. That's it. That's one. all they you can need to have. Game. They've been doing gas yeah, you can name exactly. One game. Because they started and now they are one accumulating. Game. Yes, well, you, exactly. Be, one game. Well, that... the, the... What do you say to that? They started with one and they're accumulating. Fucking people are insane. One what game. A brilliant, what a brilliant argument. Um, no, 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 no. Like, if you want to go. Yeah, yeah, ML, MLB the show. Oh, and then the chat right. started helping him, and still. Like, you, you can go back to EverQuest with Sony and online. EverQuest. Oh, my fucking. Entertainment. But the point is, yeah. nothing has shifted right. except for Microsoft. Do, do you understand? Games didn't exist. Okay. No, 10 gas games didn't exist because they started the strategy and now they're accelerating along that same axis. So you're That's saying that they are somehow today. shifting. Now they start in the game, but they're accelerating along the same... Bollocks. And this is the kind of bollocks that PlayStation fan, fan base li listen to. It's not... It shouldn't be contentious. You shouldn't be able to cry about the fact that there's a pivot. That they are doubling down on their gas. They announced it. They have said it. It's a matter of fact. Now you're arguing about semantics, about accelerating in a pivot. People are freaking idiots man Who is it? I, don't, I don't like this guy but and you know what i was willing to give him a chance because some points he made sense but if you have this much of a chip on your shoulder on a show and you can't read the room and you have no appetite in actually having a discussion in earnest you get murked by your own so you're, you're but, your but, own but we're argument. not talking about the status quo you're not saying you that things games, are and then you're saying status quo you're boring me no you're, you're you. no, you're boring. No, you are absolutely discussion. like dreadfully well, boring I, because you're not I, saying I, anything I that is actually of any substance. Levels. We're having, we're well, neither having do I. But the point is, your the point is this. Relied on two games. The point is this. The point That's, is this. Well done. Well they done. started with two games, yeah, that have been long major staples of their household, and now they are getting more. Now you're seeing how diverse. But the thing is, it, it would be one thing if you said, okay, they are not releasing single player games anymore. Then it's like, okay, that's a shift. But for them to say, oh, it's so fucking stupid. They have to stop making single player games for it to be a shift. What? Don't drink bleach, people. Okay, we're going to release single player games, which is said, since you love Hiroki Totoki so much, I I'm sure you must love Herman House. That came multiple times and said, single player is the core of our gaming. We are never going to step away from single player games. Why okay, cool. Like so Why is he doing that voice to do the voice of Herman House? Wait. He said that for our gaming. No, love Herman House. That Listen to this. Go play games, which they said, since you love Hiroki Totoki so much, I I'm sure you must love Herman House. That came multiple times and said, single player is the core of our gaming. We are never <laughs> Why is he doing that? How old are you, Blad? Stop eating burgers, Blad. We're going to step away from a single player games. Okay, cool. So he said that. Since you okay. love words so much, right? Wait. Single player games. Okay, cool. So he said that. 
since you love words so much, right? And then <laughs> I think my face, my face there says it. Oh, like I'm thinking, is this guy fucking taking the piss? Since you love words so much, huh? They say to you, they're going to introduce live service games on top. And so far, what have they done? Exactly that. So you <laughs> so they announce their strategy, which I'm talking about, which is their strategy, and then they start doing it. So what? You just say, oh my god, they didn't used to have what, ten what before. Have well, when were they supposed to get ten? They were always gonna start at zero and they were, <laughs> <laughs> they were always gonna start at zero. Uh, yeah, number numbers exist, time exists, and fucking why? 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 Well, I say why he has a platform. He doesn't really. Well, Punch Rock, you're a smart guy. Why do you have... This is your choice. <laughs> We're always going to move towards 10. So now that they've started at zero, of, and they're moving there's towards 10, there. there's a lot of verbal diarrhea. What, did you hear your own words? I don't, think you, I don't think you have the capacity to engage in this conversation properly. I don't you're think not... you have... <laughs> And that's the truth of Spock, like I say, you, you, you don't. But I was talking about first parties, yeah? And what the... Uh, very simple question, chat. It's a very sensitive topic for PlayStation guys, okay? What does your first party roadmap look like? You've got State of Play. Jeff Grab's talking about it. And... Port Rock and you know your PlayStation guys naturally want to know what your roadmap is. You pride yourself on your first party. It's your narrative. First party is on the basis upon which PS3 came alive, on which on PlayStation 4 gen you bemoaned Xbox, made fun of it, said where's your even though it's a relatively recent phenomenon, you made it your backbone, your structure of your argument, the foundation. You shouldn't shouldn't even be contentious. So I'm just asking. What is your first? You got to show a state of, state of play. What does it look like? Very simple question. I, I didn't even try to tra set up trap. I wanted to know. I go in the so, so I don't go in that many shows now. A lot of them are just echo chamber stuff, and m not many, in my opinion, are entertaining. Barring a few, like Dirk Grigetti and Sean stuff. Like okay, it's echo chamber massively, but. They're entertaining as hell, and I love the bullshit that they just TTS, yeah. But the rest is just ugh, I can't, I can't do it anymore. And you, and I go on PlayStation shows because I want to have a bit of something different, a little bit of back and forth, a little bit challenging me, yeah. And Port Rock has the appetite, and bless Port Rock, man, he was very like, even though we disagreed, but he he has a real appetite to actually engage in conversation, even with King Thrash. Okay, King Thrash is very single-minded and you will not willing to listen to any anyone but he he's entertaining as hell and he's still cordial even though he has ridiculous beef with a lot of people and, and i understand not ever, i had mad beef with king thrash but i think he's very entertaining but i i can get it why people have beef with each other hopefully one day we can make it take this all gaming chat in the spirit that it's in but everyone's gonna not everyone's i'm, I'm rambling here but you're not gonna like everyone I don't like Colin Moriarty for more serious reasons than gaming. Reforge Gaming is a grifter. I don't hate the guy, but I just feel like I'm astounded that people listen to him. Even though he routinely, is so many times, he just completely undoes his own argument. He's a hypocrite. He does it like... I've shown you side-by-side -side clips of him. Him saying something and then saying the opposite. Or him having this one energy and having the other. Incredibly. Incredibly. So, I get it. I'm not trying to broke a piece. I'm just trying to give you a perspective of where I come from when I come to this show. So when I ask this guy, and I ask this guy, very simple question. Very, on a PlayStation podcast, God forbid I ask this question. What does... What, what's the, what, what are you expecting from the state of play? And look at this. Look at this. Very simple question. Very simple question. And I wasn't trying to set him up. I know this guy. Look at him, bro. He's ready to... He, he is... Me and him have a back and forth, so obviously he's got a little chip on his shoulder because I've mugged him a few times and him. Lads! <laughs> so, uh, I asked him uh, here, sincerely. Your you. voice? <laughs> uh, uh, listen, listen to him. Look, look. look. He, he's trying to be smart. There's Boredom. Born out of... <laughs> I asked him. Uh, and it comes out in 2027. It's coming so, out within the year. Will they, will they show something? Let, let me let me kill Extreme's boredom. Born out of... Uh, I think your he, voice? 
<laughs> his voice is very, very entertaining. That's why he's got yeah, thousands just, of just, just <laughs> full, feigned, feigned uh, interest. Again, still be nice. He said that. I was like, anyway, let me get to the topic because this guy is so proud. Look at his face, bro. He's so proud of himself, lad. Can I zoom in? Oh, God. <laughs> when, when do you think PlayStation's first party, what do you expect from this day of play? Do you think they'll actually show something? Do they have something in the works? Not a contentious question. What would they show the state of play? What are you expecting? The answer? I don't care. <laughs> PlayStation guy doesn't care about the first party games that PlayStation will show. Yeah, okay. okay, that's when PlayStation. Do... Oh, no, no, as long right, as when they do show something. No, no, let me finish. <laughs> As long as when they do show something, that is something that's within the rest of it. You know, I have been vehemently against this notion of putting out the world map that stretches out five years. For what, what does that do for you as a gamer? Well, what does it do for like, what you hide like a child? No, you're not. Absolute bollocks. Like, what's the simple question? For you as a gamer. Well, what does it do? Like, what, you're hyped like a young child? No, you're not. So well, You're hyped like a child? No, you're not. All the people, apart barring you, are in this because they are excited about gaming. But... You're hyped like a child. You want to know what they're showing. So it's just about hype. And why is your spiel about games always oh, so far away? No one is suggesting that games have to be seven years away. And then he talks about Everwild and oh, Everwild. No one is saying they have to reveal games that are a decade away. What are you showing on State of Play? Because your 2024 is empty as far as first party is concerned. Your Hiroki Totoki says no nothing from existing franchises so new games will come out what are you expecting give me an answer you can't and this is the kind of bollocks you get and that's part of the uh playstation community that i uh i hate uh, intellectually deficient or just bad actors with a chip on their shoulder who really don't want to engage in a meaningful discourse and there's so many of them port rock's not one of them me and him go back he's sincere and he can back up what he says. And I don't want to hate on this guy. It's just, obviously, I've murked him a few times in videos and stuff. And it, it'll rub him the wrong way, which I understand. But I'm a three-hour podcast, man. Just read the room. And if you don't want to read it, that's fine. But his chat was like, oh, thank you. well done for challenging gas. Anyone agrees that this guy fared well in those interactions? You're a fucking idiot, bro. But what can I say, man? God bless you. Ah, oh, music is back. It's so nice. Xbox should game momentum since PlayStation don't have a roadmap. Something sort of Assassin 89. Thank you, Assassin. Everything is right for the taking from Microsoft, except Microsoft is not taking it. They are, well, they're taking it from behind, but they're not doing what they need to. And everything is set up. Everything is set up. What have you heard from ABK? Nothing from Microsoft. You had a chance. You had a chance, Xbox. You had a chance. And you threw it all away. You had a chance to make Nick Fox say, Aiden, please again. So the Xbox tax softening from the media after same work with them highlighting mental issues at all. Poking claims 24-7. That's actually a very, very good question. And a lot of people might think, well, that's a bit silly, guys. Like, you know, get, uh, developers will take into account the full product and, you know, in the totality of the gameplay. That's not how game reviews work. And in the gaming media, you have a collection of people who do think things like i don't want to be like woke stuff or this that blah 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 but they all try to view it with a view of how other people view it it's just the way it is and i think it will help in well 
transform their biases. They will be more willing to do that. And the question I should ask is, is that wrong? Because tackling a serious topic like mental illness and then executing on it and then delivering a beautiful game and with gameplay, should it not factor into your assessment of the game's quality? Because it's not easy to do. And this game's design fly, the Hellblade's game design flies in the face of what you would typically consider an enjoyable gaming experience. It's a hard slog, very oppressive, with very few high high points in terms of tone and vibe and you know it's mental illness is not exactly a nice thing to go through right psychosis is not a right thing to go through so to your question it will and maybe rightfully so rightfully so go eastward go eastward from amsterdam Cole Eastwood, I'm so annoyed, man. That I caught it's Ramadan. Microsoft, send him to UK and do an event here outside of Ramadan. If I was there, Cole, chat. Very few people party the way I do. If the shit I've got up to, the shit that happens is mad. It's not even people chatting in their party. Yeah, let's have some drinks together. My parties are like, you end up almost dying. You end up in some crazy VIP's house and then you get and pick up some guns and then you snort and crack on the back of a hooker's face. No, I'm just kidding, not that bad. But if it was Cole Eastwood is there, he would, him being a nice, innocent boy, would get 100,000% danked. He would be there, freaking twerking hoes and freaking maps to that with me no chance he would be there sober no chance we would get lit and he's so close so close yet so far so far oh go eastward you'll end up pregnant yes you will yes you will fuck i would actually go fly out there but I can't, it's Ramadan, I have to be good. I'm trying to be good. And the last 10 days are very serious business. I gotta cleanse my soul. I can't be partaking. But yeah, cold. We have to be, man. It's been too long. I was so, so salty to go last year to LA and now you're here and just stones throw away. I can see you in maybe an hour and a half. I'm tempted, but I can't. I can work in life. Oh. oh, I'm so like, even now in my head, I'm like, should I go? Should I go? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is probably the best stream I've ever seen from you, man. Love to you, Vince. Oh, man. Love to you, too. It's so disorganized. It's me talking shit. But welcome. Welcome, lad. Welcome. This is what happens when I have a green tea. Anyway, I'm going to sign out. Chat. It has been great fun. We've talked loads of shit. And when I get organized, when I get organized, it's going to be a very different affair. It's when I get organized, we're going to have clips playing at the end. We're going to have phone in so you guys can call me, blood. Join the Discord. Let me put it in the chat one more time. Join the Discord so you guys can call in. Bruv, if you guys are available right now, at me in my Discord. I can have a little chat. Who is on it? Who is on it? You is someone. I don't even know how to do it. Boys of Vegas in the freaking Discord. Yeah. Shout out, Bake. If you want to jump in, yeah. Jump into one of these voice chats. And I'd, uh, let me figure out, actually. I need to figure out because I, I want to duplicate voice chat. I need to figure out. Let me do it. Next, next stream. Call in. I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear from you. Let's talk some shit. Brandon Green Gamer, you're on the Discord? Wicked. Let me sort that out. Where do I... I'm looking at it even on my stream right now. We're doing it. We'll do it. We'll do it very soon. We'll do it very soon. But we'll do it. Are you here till Saturday night? Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I can't do it. I would have done it on the weekend. But enjoy it, Colt. I hope you have a great time there, man. Everyone in chat, thank you so much for joining me. I'm so humbled by every single one of you joining. Join the Discord. We're going to get lit. Hit the like button. Share this out. Help us grow. Xbox, it's in a weird place. But there's still goodness coming. And that's all the games. We put our foot on Phil Spencer's neck. And hopefully we'll get some results. 
as he tries to breathe. Hughes is in there. Shout out to you, bro. We're going to get that in there. Next stream, we're going to do call-ins. Call-in. It's a Patreon-only tier, but let, let it build up, and then we'll, we'll sort that out. And check out Patreon as well. Patreon's got exclusive content and videos every week. Behind the scenes, me just talking shit while I'm taking a shit. Well, not really. Well, maybe. In the kitchen and stuff. Yeah. Assassins, I will be doing call-ins. Not the stream, but the next one, 100%. Thank you so much, everyone. It's been sexual. <laughs> Take care, chat. I don't even want to say goodbye. But thank you, chat.